Hello and welcome to a new video about alternating current. Now we talked about two different parallel circuits. We talked about parallel circuit of R and L and we talked about parallel circuit of R and C. Alright? You cannot see this. Huh? Too bright. So I put it here. Here this was the parallel circuit of R and L and here this was the parallel circuit of R and C. These were the two pointer diagrams and I will just draw the pointer diagram now of parallel circuit of R, L and C. Yeah. So we always started with our U. So I'll draw my U in here. Here is my U. This direction. Right? U. The voltage. Then I have my current through R, IR, go in this direction somewhere. Here's my IR. One. Then I have my current through my through my uh, coil, hmm? IL, going down here. Has a certain length determined by the frequency and by the value of L. And then I have IC also going this direction, also determined by the length of it, by C and, and the frequency. Right? This is what we what we found out. Alright, now my what is my I? Huh? I have to summarize all the values. So I'm going up here. And then I'm going down here. I'm ending up here. Yeah. And this here is my I. And this equals IR plus IL plus IC. That's the situation. This is how it would look like. And now let's have a look. What if the length of IC and IL are the same? Yeah? So if IL and IC are compensating each other, then we will go up here IC, we'll go down here IL, and we end up with IR. If IL and IC are leveling each other, then my I has the shortest possible value and angle zero. This is also called resonance. Okay, So we also have a resonance here. What is the, is the condition yeah, that both are equal? It's the same condition as we had last time, that the reactance of those two of L and C are the same. Okay, And this can only happen at a certain F0, at a certain resonance frequency. Only at this frequency this is happening. Why? Because if I write this down, we would have here omega zero multiplied by L, that's this, equals one divided by omega zero C. And omega zero is the resonance circular frequency, which is omega zero equals two pi F zero. Right. That's, that would be the condition, this condition. Yeah? And now bring this to the other side. Omega zero squared L equals one divided by C. Omega zero squared equals one divided by LC. Omega zero equals one divided by the square root of LC. So my F zero equals, this is omega zero divided by 2P, one divided by two pi square root of LC. This is the frequency where this condition is met. Okay. Resonance frequency. Let's compare this to our series resonance circuit. It's the same. It's the same condition. Why should it be different? It's the same condition there. Yeah. Uh, however, we have other we have then other findings. Yeah. What are the findings? Yeah. What what are what what is this causing? Yeah. Well, the IC and IL are compensating each other. Huh? They can also be high. 
yeah, depending on the value of u, yeah, but they can be right quite high, yeah. And outside, I don't see them. So this, this, this do they are all constantly exchanging currents, and one current is positive, one current is negative. So they will just like bouncing a ball back and there. Yeah. This is a swinging. Yeah, I see and I are compensating each other. I don't see it on the outside. Yeah, I the complete current. Yeah, is only only determined by r because if i c and i l are leveling each other i end up with ir i end up with ir so the only thing which is pinning down the value of my i is my r there is no other value yeah and i has a minimum value at the resonance frequency. Why? Because look at the pointers. The pointers, this is the shortest pointer possible. You can go up, you can go down, yeah, everywhere, but IR will always stay there, so it can only be longer if they are not leveling exactly each other. So there IR is at its lowest level. Yeah? at F0. Pin this really down. Uh -huh. Parallel circuit of R, L and C. Parallel swinging circuit. With our resonance condition. Uh -huh. Pretty much the same condition as we had in series. Uh -huh. But in series it was the voltages which leveled each other and here it's the currents. Good. Uh -huh. Series Parallel, all possible elements, at least that we know of. <laughs> and uh, what's left? What's left is the power factor. Uh, power factor is a topic I want, don't want to send current through my network, which is not delivering power. That's not the core, that's not the, that's not the, the task of a network. The task of a network is to transmit power. Yeah? And if I only transmit current, but I'm not using this power because it's reactive power, then I'm not that happy. So I somehow need to compensate my power factor. How this is working, compensating a power factor, I will explain in the next video with an example. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.